Hi, I'm Mrs. Lansdow, and today we're going to talk about perspective taking. Have you heard of that before? Do you know what that means? Well, today we're going to talk about perspective taking, and here's the definition. Perspective taking. Seeing and understanding the world from someone else's point of view. Sometimes we really get caught up in to ourself and we only think about ourself and we think about ourself and the situation that we're in. Sometimes we don't look at the other perspective, the other person, what might they be thinking? So when we look at perspective taking, it is a skill and we have to learn it over time. We certainly will. But when we think about perspective taking, it's really determining the other person's feelings. So have you ever been in a little bit of an argument with someone and you were certain you were correct? Did you ever stop to think for a moment the other person's perspective? What were they thinking? What were their emotions? It's really hard sometimes to pause, stop thinking of our own emotions, and to think of someone else's emotions in a difficult situation. But we really need to perspective take, all right? And we can practice this over time. A lot of times when we perspective take, we really have to think about emotions. Knowing your emotions, remember that being self-aware, being mindful, but then it's taking it a step further and looking at other people's emotions. Okay, so let's take a look at perspective taking, and I'm going to give you a few things to think about today. But the first one is I have a book. All right, have you ever seen this book? Duck Rabbit. All right, do you see a duck or do you see a rabbit? I know, interesting. Some of you might see a duck. Others of you might see a rabbit. Do you see that we could have different perspectives when we're looking at something? Yeah. Sometimes 20 different people can go to an event and they can have 20 different perspectives on the event. Okay, so it's nice that we're looking at other people's perspective. So let's do a little activity today. You can see my picture that's on the board. All right, right over here, you can see it. And when we look here at this picture, we're looking at, oh, there's a dad. And um, let's see, he's given a dog a bath. And it looks like the mom and the, the little kid are trying to hold the hose to get the soap off of the dog. Um, if I look at their faces, we see smiles, eh, maybe a little smile. Mom's got a big smile and so does dad. All right, but let's take a look at this perspective from everybody's point of view, okay? So let's start from the dog's point of view first. What do you think, looking at that dog's face, how do you think that dog feels? What do you think? I don't know. I think he's like a little bit annoyed, um, like exasperated or bothered. I don't think dogs really like getting a bath, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at it from the little boy's point of view. What do you think the little boy is? How do you think he feels? What do you think? Hmm. I think he's like delighted or like a little curious. Maybe he's never given a dog a bath before. He probably is thinking, this is more fun than when I take a bath, is probably what he's thinking. Yeah, let's take it from mom's point of view. Look at mom's point of view. What do you think her perspective is? What do you think she feels? She, she's a little bit cautious, okay? Probably anxious. She doesn't want to get soap in the little doggy's eyes. And she's helping the little boy be very careful with where they spray. So probably being a little bit cautious. Let's take it from 
dad's point of view. All right, dad's point of view. What's his perspective, do you think, here? And that means how does he feel? What do you think? Oh, he's got a big smile. He has some love for that dog, that's for sure. Kind of doting over the dog, so to speak. He's pretty proud, maybe? Yeah. He's probably thinking, doesn't this feel so good? And he probably calls the dog boy. Doesn't this feel so good, boy? All right, lots of people talk to their animals like that. But do you see how everybody in this picture can have a different perspective of what's going on? Yeah, so let's try another one. Let's try another one. All right, so taking a look, let's put up, how about this page? Do you see this picture? All right, yes, so let's do this one together. We're thinking of perspective of everything in the picture, okay? Let's, let's take a look. We could have different perspectives here. So in the picture, we have a little boy, and he's got a dog sitting beside him, and he's sitting on a suitcase. We're going to do a little pretending here, and that's okay. What do you think the point of view of the boy, what's his perspective on the whole situation here? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I get that, yeah. Yeah, he's proud. Definitely, he's sitting up, he's got nice posture, shoulders are back, he's smiling, so we know he's happy, kind of proud, all right? He's probably got his good shoes on, he's dressed up with a hat. Yeah, he's feeling pretty good about himself, right? Yeah, so excited. This was probably a, a family, the mom's probably photographing this, and she used the suitcase as a prop, probably. Okay, what do you think the dog, what do you think the dog, how is dog feeling? What's the dog's perspective here? Why don't you think about that? Take a look. Look at the eyes of the dog. Look at the tongue hanging out. Look how much hair the dog has. What do you think that perspective is from the dog's point of view? What do you think? Oh, I think so too. I think so too. I think the dog is hot. All right, when my dog has its tongue hanging out like that, it's really hot. And so it looks like it's a warm day, the dog has lots of fur, so that's like wearing a winter coat. And, and the tongue is out, which means he's panting a little bit. And I think he's hot. I, I don't know that he's happy to sit there, but he's happy to sit down. All right? I don't know that he's happy to get his picture taken, but he's happy to sit down. Okay. So let's make this interesting. What do you think if the suitcase could talk? And we know it can't. It's pretend. I think the suitcase is thinking for pretend, of course. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. The little boy's sitting on it. The suitcase is probably saying, help, he's heavy. He's sitting on me. Exactly if the suitcase could talk, right? Right, exactly, exactly. But do you see how we could have three different perspectives from the same picture and situation? The little boy's delighted. I'm not sure the dog is delighted. I'm not sure the suitcase is delighted. But do you see from the same picture, we could have three different perspectives. Wow. So I want you to think of a situation. Maybe um, you were at school and maybe it was recess time. And maybe there was a little kid who had nobody to play with. 
you at recess, you were playing in a game of basketball and it was pretty fun, it was pretty aggressive, and you were having a good time. If you came inside and the teacher asked your perspective of recess, what would your perspective of recess be? And how would that differ from the little boy or girl who had nobody to play with? How would that perspective be different? Yeah, it's recess for both. But do you see how the perspective could be different? Absolutely. And that's what I want you to consider. When we think of perspectives, we have to think of other people and we have to think of other people's emotions. Okay? We could have different perspectives and we need to be okay with that. Sometimes you may not always be right, and we have to listen to others. We kind of have to put ourselves in other people's shoes sometimes in order to understand where they're coming from. Today, for your assignment, which is in the student resource section, I have two pictures on paper. So take a look. I have that same picture that we did together with the little boy the dog in the suitcase. And I want you to write out, we didn't write today, we just talked about it out loud. But what you can write, we gave the, the ideas, some ideas you might have different, but give the boy's perspective, write it down. What's the suitcase thinking? Remember, if it could think, right? And then what's the dog's perspective, okay? But here's a new one for you. We have a picture of a cow, but let me put a close up picture so you can really see it. Take a look at this picture. Can you see it? All right, let me show you something. So we're gonna look at the cow's perspective. Watch this. The fly's perspective on its nose, and then the bird's perspective up in the air. It's the same picture, but I bet we have three different perspectives. And that's what you're going to write down on your paper. What are those three different perspectives? So boys and girls, if you were in my class, if you're in Mrs. Lansdale's class, this is what I would have you complete. If your teacher has another idea for you, then please feel free to do that task. Today, we're really think, thinking of perspective taking. What I want for you to do this week is to be inside your house. And when someone has a disagreement or an argument and maybe somebody's not getting along, I want you to stop and pause for a moment and take your own feelings away. And I want you to think of the other person's perspective. What are the emotions the other person is thinking? Why might the other person be upset? What are they thinking? What are their thoughts? Because that might help with the misunderstanding. So I really want you to focus on that this week. See if you can do it. It's pretty difficult, but if you consciously think about it, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. All right, boys and girls, the items are in the student resource section if you want to print them out. If not, you certainly can use blank paper. That's perfectly fine. Have a great day.